Welcome back to Suladan Plays Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Last time, I had loot stolen from me, and Isis fears my name now. This time, we're supposed to go to the Jedi Enclave, because I think we've found all the Jedis. The door to the left opened, so I... You know what? Going to the right wouldn't help me, because that would just let me back into the catacombs. But yeah, remember this door was locked at the start. I guess if we did this area last, it would have... As we came out of the other side, this door would have opened, but whatever. You have allowed me to do it in the order that I... Spaceship. That I chose... Oh, cutscene. Who are you? Who are you? And you! And you! Why have I got such noisy feet? I guess boots. Out of my way. I am Colonel Tobin of the Underon Mil- Lord. I, I thought you were dead. I bring news. No, not you. Of the Jedi. A place where you may feed. I'm thinking the other guy. The one the Queen killed. I'm bad with names. Telos, Master. There is an academy of Jedi on Telos. Perhaps hundreds of them. Enough to sustain you. And enough for you. Enough for you to free Onderon. Enough for you to free Onderon. Boy, you weird. 8K, what do you think of this? You didn't see any of that because it was not technically, I forget the word for that, out of character knowledge because none of us were there. I think that's the Dungeons and Dragons term for it, actually. Whatever. I know not the things with which I speak. I am crazy. Sometimes. The big tree got chopped down. Hmm. Don't know why we needed a panoramic view of that, but okay. I'm going left. Must find loot. <gasps> loot. An Opala. Opala. The Oompa Loompa crystal. Uh, I don't know what category that would be in, so we're just going to have to find it the hard way. Huh. Massive criticals. Fair enough. I like my fancy stun sabers. Game, why do you do this? Why, why do you do this? You see how it tries to betray me? It tries to trap me. It tries to disallow me from loot. You see what I mean? Get the loot. Kratos. Who Kratos? I recognize that name, but who Kratos? Do I need his robe? Or her robe? I don't know. Robe, 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 robe. Cannot equip powder. <laughs> yes, do not equip powder. Uh, resistance versus light side, restricted. Oh! Well, day was apparently a dark side poison. Oh, they betrayed Silvar. Given how completely he was killed, it's questionable whether this robe actually belonged to him. Eh, whatever. Who's Nomi? Andor, Jedi, Thawne. Lots of names. I'm sure I could piece together an amazing story if I recognized any of the... Kratos, what do you want? I am ranting. Rambling. More of a ramble. It has been some time. Are you talking to the tree that got chopped down? Are you trying to bring the Deku tree back? The years have not been kind to us both, it seems. But perhaps now they will see the truth at last. It's a tree, Kraya. It is not as it was. But perhaps 
that is for the best. Yo! We were wondering when you would arrive. This moment has taken some time to reach us, and I imagine you have many questions. Or perhaps you've come for revenge. Wouldn't it be more that, uh, you've taken- Did you not go to join him? No, it is a battle he must face alone. But Atris, she has not- Okay, I'm clicking out of the game. How do you like it? I get to talk. It's my video. Uh, wouldn't it be more that it has taken you a long time to reach this moment? Because the moment's not moving, you're moving. Anyway. Of course she has not. Mm. Mm. I need to know what you spoke of when you cast me out many years ago. You already know the answer. You've noticed it in those who travel with you. What about my companions? Have you noticed that when you act, others follow? Those that travel with you. There's something wrong here. A disturbance in the Force. Do not let them hurt him. They follow you without question, without hesitation. Against their instincts, and sometimes against their sense. It is because you are a leader. But that still fails to grasp the meaning of what I'm trying to tell you. You're the protagonist in a video game. It's called plot armor. Any of these could be interesting, so explain yourself. It is not an easy thing to explain. Surely you are familiar with force bonds. It is the bond that develops between apprentice and master when one truly understands another. It is developed over time through understanding of each other. Yet you do it so easily and we do not know why. You make connections through the force and it resonates with those who travel with you. The resonance is even greater when they too are force sensitive. Your actions affect others more than you know. You draw others to you, especially those strong in the force. When you suffer, their spirit echoes it. And when they are in pain, their pain becomes yours. And how did this happen? We do not know. But it is not the first time you felt the weight of so many lives. And that is why the Mandalorian Wars echo within you still. So all those deaths at Malachor? We did not cut you off from the Force. You were merely deafened to it. Because of that last battle of the Mandalorian Wars. The screams of countless thousands, Jedi and Mandalorians, crushed by the planet's gravity, annihilated. Their lives still scream across the surface of that dead planet, and within you. To hear the Force over such pain, it is not possible. It was too much for any Jedi to endure, and it is a wonder that you did not die there when thousands perished. All those you had fought with and struggled with. You cut yourself off because you had to if you were to survive. You had hints of it in the war on Doxon. Malachor was simply the final blow. You were deafened. At last, you could hear. You were broken. You were whole. You were blinded. And at last, you saw. When you returned to us, we saw what had happened. You carry all those deaths at Malachor within you. And it has left a hole, a hunger that cannot be filled. In you, we saw a wound in the Force. In you, we saw the end of the Force. But that makes no sense. I can feel the Force again. Yes. You can feel the Force, but you cannot feel yourself. You are a cipher, forming bonds leeching the life of others, siphoning their will and dominating them. It is the teaching of these new Sith to feed on others, on other Force sensitives. They are symptomatic of the wound in the Force. You are a breach that must be closed. You transmit your pain, your suffering through the Force. Within you we see something worse than merely the teachings of the Sith. What you carry may mean the death of the Force, and the death of the Jedi.
but I feel the force strongly. So you think. It is not the strength of a Jedi you feel. He's right. It's all the death you've caused to get here. You feed on it, and you grow stronger. You're like Malachor. It's in you, it's what you are now. You must have noticed as you fought across all these planets, killing hundreds, only to become more and more powerful. Why do you think that was? RPG oh, mechanics! Is that bonding you have? It hasn't gone away. It's gotten stronger. And the more attachments you form, the more you draw others to you. And that is why you are a threat to us all. What do you mean? What if other Jedi went to war as you did, suffered the same events, and emerged as you did? What if there was a crucible that trained such Jedi to consume and kill? For you, Malachor was that crucible. What's worse is the Sith that we face. I fear that they have learned the lesson of Malachor all too well. It is what allows them to prey on Force users, to become stronger when Force sensitives are near. Somehow they have learned their hunger from you. And so you have brought about the end of the Jedi, and perhaps all the knowledge of the Force. But it is of no consequence. Your ability to make such connections, such bonds, so easily are why you cannot remain. That's what the Force vision looks like. And so you wait, as a shadow. Yes, we are alike that way, blinded one. I would have thought you would walk with him amongst the Jedi. But that is not the way of the Sith, is it? Do not speak to me of the ways of the Sith. You, of all of us, have no conception of what it means to be Sith. You are a threat to living creatures and all who feel the Force. Just kill her. You will lead the Sith here. In that we cannot allow. You Our me? judgment before remains. Exile. You must leave. And you must leave without your tie to the Force. It is a punishment reserved for only a few, and only when necessary. But we have the power to cut you off from the Force, and it must be done. Forgive us, but it is necessary. Um. Did she just kill one of my team members? I don't want to be a team member short. Not that I'm using her as a team member, but still, I don't want to be a team member short. And are uh, you threatening to kill me? Huh. I can see, obviously, that two of these are meant to be the light side and two of these are meant to be the dark side options. So, mm, if this is what must be done... Do not be afraid. You shall feel no pain, but this must be done. I doubt the game would go through. As long as you feel the Force, you are a danger to those around you. Enough! Uh... Step away from him. What? Step away! He has brought truth, and you condemn it? The arrogance! You will not harm him. You will not harm him ever again. I thought you had died in the Mandalorian Wars. Die? No. Became stronger. Yes. Is this your new master, Exile? If so, then you follow Revan's path. Her teachings will cause you to fall as surely as he did. She is difficult to see. She's like a shadow of the Exile. So they sit out, and now they have come to us. How could you ever hope to know the threat you face when you have never walked in the dark places of the galaxy, faced war and death on such a scale? If you had traveled far enough, rather than waiting for the echo to reach you, perhaps you would have seen it for what it was. Did you not hear its call on Dantooine Vrook, on its scarred surface, and in the minds of the settlers? I have endured your corruption of my other students. You shall not have this one. And you, Kavar, so close to the call of Daxan, tell me, did you not feel what poured from the moon, what had taken place there? And Zezkael, to hide upon Nashada, yet blind yourself to all that happens there. So close to understanding the Force. So close to giving it up. There is a place in the galaxy where the dark side of the Force runs strong, it is something of the Sith, but it was fueled by war. It corrupts all that walks on its surface, drowns them in the power of the dark side. It corrupts all life, and it feeds on death. 
Revan knew the power of such places and the power in making them. They can be used to break the will of others, of Jedi, promising them power and turning them to the dark side. Did you never wonder how Revan corrupted so many of the Jedi, so much of the Republic, so quickly? The Mandalorian Wars were a series of massacres that masked another war, a war of conversion, culminating in a final atrocity that no Jedi could walk away from, save one. And that is what I sought to understand. How one could turn away from such power, give up the Force, and still live. But I see what happened now. It is because you were afraid. As you would pass judgment on him, I have come to pass judgment on you. I think it's because I'm unconscious. Do you wish to feel the teachings born of the Mandalorian Wars? Of all wars, of all tragedies that scream across the galaxy? Let me show you. You, who have forever seen the galaxy through the Force. See it through the eyes of the exile. Did she just pick me up and drop me? Ouch. I'm confused. Handmaiden, help. I'm being dragged out yeah. by a foot. Oh, yes. At last, you see. I am one of the Sith, it is true. I must answer for my actions, and it is my wish that only Atris hear my answers. What are we going to do? If we don't stop her, then everyone, everywhere, they're going to lose their lives. Soon your ship will come, my master. I will bring him before you, but I will not let you have him. Soon your ship shall come from that which made you. I know you can hear me. I have always known. It is why I followed you. I have destroyed planets for you, General. But now, this once, if we could save something in this galaxy... I need to do this, or I will die inside, like I died at Malachor 5. I want to hear HK-47's thoughts. You have gained a new light side force power, force and light, and what does it do? That journal entry better tell me what it do. Can I loot them? Not a word. Not a word. We'll we'll put a pin in that until I figure out what this force enlightenment whatever do. Power. Unknown force power. Precognition. I don't know. Also, precognition is just a hey. The game's telling you you need to save. Oh, whatever. Uh, are y'all dead? Master is dead. Drained of life. Worse than lifeless. Like an absence in the force. Can I loot him, however? Can I loot him? They're gonna come back as zombies later, aren't they? You're not letting me loot them because then I would have two copies of their equipment. I mean, two copies of their equipment would exist. Also, which direction did I come from? I'm going this way. I want to be fast. Also, I'm concerned. Where's the unconscious, uh, Jesus? Greg clearly dragged her back to the ship. Hmm. I am very confused by what's going on. To the courtyard! I love that night speed worked in that cutscene. That and what happened? What happened? What happened? The handmaiden took her. She thinks Kreia killed you. But Kreia didn't kill me. Why does she think that? Because that's the lie Kreia told her. That's why. The only thing that matters is the handmaiden believes it. And she's gonna react exactly how that old witch hoped she would. That's why she wanted the handmaiden on board, you know. So she could use her to reach the Telos Academy whenever she wished, without needing the access codes. But the Handmaiden wouldn't allow Kraya to enter the Academy unless she was overcome by anger because she had developed feelings for us and now she feels like she must avenge us by getting Kraya killed. She would, 
if she thought she was bringing Atris a prisoner, especially a Sith Lord. She'll take her to Telos, and Atris will do what she'll do to anyone she thinks is a Sith. Uh, but Kray and I are linked. If she dies... Yeah, I know. Well, you want to play Pazak before I die? Uh, I... Uh, the Sith are planning to attack Talos. Everything will be decided there. That's what I was afraid you'd say. To the sky! New cutscene! What is wrong? Something troubles you. I can feel it. Lots of things. Lots of things! I fear I've been influencing you all without realizing it or intending to, or bacon. I do not understand what you mean. V says, why are you following me? I would die for you. When I tell you my life for yours. It is my choice. And if there is an ending between us where my sacrifice can save you, it will be because it is my desire, not your will. But how do you know? I simply do. And sometimes there is no reason that can be given. What did you learn within the Jedi Academy? Hmm. Hmm. Any of these things. Uh, that I form connections through the Force, and that is why others follow me to their deaths. Then that is the danger of their beliefs. They do not understand you, what it means to be human, to lead. The feelings I have for you are because of what I see, what I hear in your voice. All that tells me you are a natural leader. I follow because I believe in you. I would die for you because I believe in you. And where they look at you and see the death of the Force, I look at you and see hope for all life. I look at you and see that perhaps a life untouched by the Force is not the punishment it is believed to be. I will understand if you feel you must go on alone, but I ask that you do not. Instead, take strength from your connection to others. Do not forsake them as you did in exile. I will, Vesus. What happened to the lights? Um. Observation. And I don't mean this in the wrong way. Am I the only one that feels like... I'm trying to think of a way to phrase this. It feels like Visa's joined us so early in the story that you don't get the full impact that you would have gotten if she had chased us for like a third or half of the game, which she may have. I, you know, I don't know like proportionally how long she actually chased us compared to the full length of the game. But if she chased us for longer, fought against us, had second thoughts, then come to our side, it would have... It just kind of feels like, unless I'm remembering wrong, it's like the first time we meet her is like, okay, I'll join you. And I'm like, I, uh, I don't know. Ah, I, I don't know. Whatever. Um, uh, hmm. What's troubling you? The lights? He awaits you at Telos. If you go there, you must face him. And when you do... He will wound you, as he has wounded me. Well, if I don't stop him, then Telos will be destroyed. I think a lot more than just Telos. I ask you, I beg you, to stay here with me. I mean, I can stay as long as I can, but... I want to look upon you. Where no one else can see. Where it is just us. Are you hitting on me? I want to see your face. The color of your skin. I wish to see what the handmaiden sees. When she looks at you. That causes her heart to race. 
and her tone to change. What causes her to forsake her heritage, her oaths, as you made me forsake mine? I need to know if perhaps I am wrong. Force if bond the universe stuff? is not as my master once wrong. showed me. Uh, the universe is not solely as our eyes make it out to be. You know this? From the moment I heard your voice across the galaxy, I have longed for you. It is the echo, a wound that travels still, that when heard, made me understand that there was another wounded as I was. One who had felt the same sense of loss. When I heard it, I loved you more than my own life. What and I, I wanted you to be it? here with me. For as long as you will let me love you, stay. And I want you to see what I see when I gaze upon you. I want you to know why I cannot look at you. And why I am drawn to you. This has been a very exposition-y episode. Uh... I kind of like the if I'm gonna I'm gonna wait it'll give me something to fight for line. It sounds more noble. I'm gonna wait it'll give me something to fight for. It was something that had to be spoken. If nothing but to hear the echo, I will await you. And if you do not return, then I shall wait until my life ends. Then we shall meet again in the places where the force does not touch. Well, that was a sharp transition. To the smooth. I think it should have landed a little more gradually. It feels like it came down and went... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not rocket science. Kim, how many cutscenes? I would like to pause. Who is there? Who I am is not the question. That voice! I am Atris, Jedi Master. The last historian of the Jedi. The last of the Jedi. Those are titles, words you cling to as the darkness falls around you. It is not the first time we have met, Atris. I was here before. With the exile? Yes, I was here both times when the exile was brought before you. Who are you? I was the one who asked him to be exiled. I did as you asked, so long ago. Plot twist. You, you seem familiar to me. Atris, I have always been here. You are that which has attacked the Jedi. You are Sith. Sith is a title, yes, but like you, the title is not who I am. It is not what I believe. For you, it is different. Know that there was once a Darth Treya, and that she cast aside that role, was exiled, and found a new purpose. But there must always be a Darth Treya, one that holds the knowledge of betrayal, who has been betrayed in their heart, and will betray in turn. You have bathed in the knowledge of the Sith, but there is not enough truth in such teachings. But it will be a step for you. You have gathered Sith holocrons, Sith teachings from across the galaxy. It is why you have chosen servants who cannot feel the Force. And most importantly, they cannot feel what you have become. I have sought to preserve the Jedi Order. And I have gathered all that I know of the Sith to this place. So I might find them and stop them. I had wondered if any of these holocrons had survived Dantooine. You have taken relics from one destroyed planet to the devastation of another. It was always intended for the Jedi to retreat to Telos should Dantooine be attacked, taking all their lore with them. We could not allow the tragedy at Osis to happen again. Such an act marked Telos for destruction. It is why the Sith came here, though the fleet commanders did not know why. It is why Revan ordered its destruction to mark the beginning of the Jedi's civil war. It was a message that there would be no place for the Jedi to retreat, to hide. I would not be surprised if Revan left other gifts beneath the surface of the planet. Much. And there goes the audio. I can be buried beneath graveyards that will never be found. When the Sith attacked, 
I felt Tilos die. Turbo lasers fell like lightning upon the landscape. Turbo lasers. As they did on Dantooine. And so many died. So many voices screaming in pain. Yes, such acts leave their mark on the galaxy. Their cries travel far, though few can hear them. How did it happen? Search your heart. It was never battle that called to you, never battle that caused you to fall. Alicor Five has touched many things, and it casts its echoes still. Why did he betray me? You betrayed yourself. Do not blame the exile. And unlike you and I, there is still a chance that one may be saved, the one that you cast out. Where is the exile? I had thought. Oh, he will come, but it will be too late to save either of us. It is such a quiet thing. To fall, but far more terrible is to admit it. Oh my goodness! More exposition. I don't mind. Our mistress awaits. She has much to share with you. I love the cutscenes. Don't get me wrong, but I'd like to save some for next week. And here we go. There's more. The last of the handmaidens is before us. It is good that you have returned. You have much to answer for. What are you saying? You have betrayed us. You have betrayed Atris. You are no longer one of us. You followed the Jedi, betrayed your oath. Listen to me. Atris has been touched by the Sith. It is not too late for silence. It is a crime to kill blood, but not to kill a betrayer as you. I mean, technically, I didn't teach her Jedi stuff. So how did she betray? Huh? Wasn't it she was supposed to report back or something? I don't know. I will not fight you. Then you shall fall. We shall see what the exile has taught. If she kills her sisters, then the dark side will have its claim on her. Yet if she does not, then she will die. Such is sacrifice. The true test of battle is how much force to bring against opponents. If you wish to kill them, do not hold back. But if you wish to stun them, incapacitate them, then you must choose your attacks carefully, oh, using no. just the right amount of force, just the right weapon to stop them. I assume what you're saying is I have to hit them within a certain amount of their health bar. Either kill them or end the combat with them stunned or paralyzed. Oh good, if you can reduce them to enough hit points without killing them, they will automatically be stunned. Thank you, game, for explaining that. However, I'm not about to do that right now. I'm fascinated. Handmaiden's going... <laughs> Level 6. Wade, you were right. I'm just gonna say it. You were right. I should have leveled some of these people up. And now it's gonna kill me. But in any case, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.